I also welcome that your first official visit abroad will be to Brussels to visit the institutions of the European Union on 14 June. This is a clear sign of the priority you attach to Serbia's European orientation and your intention to continue the work of your predecessor, President Tadic, to whom I also pay a special tribute today. There is still serious work ahead for Serbia before it can be expected that the Commission recommends opening accession negotiations. We will be reviewing progress in our next progress report on Serbia in October. There are no hidden expectations or agenda. We will, in simple terms, look into first the progress that Serbia has made in the dialogue between Belgrade and Pristina and further normalization of relations. And second, continuity and delivering of reforms, in particular in key areas like the judiciary and the fight against corruption. President, I came today to underline that the European Union and the region need Serbia to keep the pace on enlargement policy and a European Union-oriented reform process at the heart of the next government's agenda. It is the European Union's policy to provide help to each and every country to advance in their European integration and by doing so provide also a clear perspective for the region as a whole. A perspective which can help attract badly needed investment. A perspective that can act as a catalyst for the profound transformation your economies and societies have to undergo and a perspective that can bring a better life and a prosperity to the citizens of the Western Balkans.